Good evening, YouTube and uh, and blog. I always forget the blog, so I'm going to throw a bit of a shout out to you there, blog. Uh, this is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive, bringing you a late evening Sunday video update. Uh, I've been meandering about my apartment this intermittently very hot and very cold uh, Sunday, putting together a little thing that I had a prophetic vision of uh, this week. Well, I sat in my office uh, making a tile map editor in Unity, kind of in the same vein as uh, you know the map editors for Red Alert or Warcraft or such. Um, so that's sort of what I said about doing uh, about midday today. I've put a few things together. I thought you may be interested to see. So uh, this is a, a fully Unity editor extension video today, so so uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing, stay tuned, otherwise uh, maybe check out another one of our videos that are slightly more entertaining. Um, so I will gesture wildly with the mouse right now. Uh, as you can see we've got our Unity project open right here. Um, this is just a test project so it is quite messy, but uh, if you look right down the bottom right here you'll see I've got a new little window that I've constructed here, an editor window, uh, for creating your uh, tile map, block map, whatever you like to call it. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a name, we'll call it test map. A width and a height, and that's in tiles, so let's make it uh, 15 by 15. And then the tile that you wish to construct it out of, I've got a default one that's sort of nice. And then we'll go ahead and create that map. And if you uh, watch the screen right here, it will populate itself up nicely. Um, I've put a little loading bar in there and I stagger it out over a few frames because if you want to create a 2000 by 2000 map that will take quite a while quite a while uh, if you'll excuse me for a second I'm just gonna change my render settings to be a bit brighter so we get a nice looking thing here excellent so now you can see uh, our block map editor window down here has changed a little bit um, we're getting two options now cycle blocks or paint blocks and a block type that we can paint this is going to function exactly the same as you know paint or anything like that so let's go ahead and paint up our thing in the scene view here just gonna remove some things here now what I'm doing is painting with what I call the null block but you know if I ever make it available for anybody to use I'll call it something nicer um, which is the equivalent of deleting a block but if you look nice and closely here I'm zooming in for you it leaves a little invisible block in there so you know you know when your heart of hearts that you can paint over that any time, so it's not just empty. Um, it'll obviously be deleted at runtime uh, for your game. Uh, let's go ahead and paint a few more here. And so what you can see happening is uh, not only is it removing and adding the blocks as you like, it's also adjusting uh, the objects that are displaying or the texture of the block. So see here I'll indicate with my mouse again uh, the grass is here where it should you know be and here and such. Uh, you can see I've scribbled on the front of my textures to tell me uh, what is the front of the blocks and uh, and the back and the back. Um, so yeah, uh, actually what I was really thinking of, of using it for, not so much the Red Alert Water Warcraft thing. Sorry, not Water Warcraft, Warcraft. Uh, I was an addict, you see. Uh, was for a sort of side-scrolling uh, quasi-2D platformer thing. So I thought it would be very convenient to be able to just click on blocks as I'm going to do once more now to show you how easy it is. Click, 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 click. Um, then, you know, placing things. I'll show you the other feature here. So I'm turning off paint blocks now and it will become cycle blocks. And uh, we can just click repeatedly on a block. Oh my goodness. Well, I've obviously not tested this because null blocks don't have colliders. Anyway, in theory, in theory, if your humble narrator tested things before he demoed them, it just cycles through all your available blocks as is defined in your little block folder here. So uh, you could go through and, you know, uh, see all of the available blocks to see how they look in position before you settle down on a design. Um, so yes, that's my sort of little pet project for today, a tile map editor. Uh, using all Unity extensions, that's just pretty much click and paint and such. So uh, I had a great time. It was it was very fun. Editor scripting is is quite challenging, um, and I definitely hope to to do more of it. And uh, if it looks like it's coming along beautifully, I'll 
hopefully release it to the asset store under some quirky name. Um, so yes, this has been my my little update just for just for your curiosity, just to you know to let you all know we're alive. Because oh, there's so many of our fans out there who are just like, oh, Josh, you know, where are your videos? We miss reading your blog posts so much. That's sarcasm, by the way. Uh, nobody reads our blog. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Um, I've been listening to Talking Heads, Girlfriend is Better, live, while I talk to you here. I'm going to post the link in the comment because it's just such an awesome video. Uh, you all have a good evening. I'll uh, hopefully be bringing you some more videos later with uh, what we've been working on. And uh, definitely, this has been Joshua McGrath from Doppler Interactive, signing off.